Welcome everybody to today's YouTube video. And I think here in my hands right now, I have probably one of, if not the most anticipated releases of the year, possibly over the last two years, maybe. I think that's when it was supposed to come out. I think this boot was supposed to come out about two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it got postponed, kept getting pushed back. And um, finally, it has been released in limited quantities. Um, I had been looking on Nike.com, waiting for it to drop. It finally showed up. I had it in my favorites. Um, it said, kept, kept saying, coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. And I was checking, I mean, every, every day. Um, and uh, finally it released. And it released in other places first. I believe like some places in Europe had them. And they only made, a, I don't even remember exactly the amount. A couple thousand, I think. Um, and Nike only had up to a 10 and a half, which thankfully is my size. So in case you didn't read the title or maybe I didn't put it, which I'm pretty sure I did, um, it is the, <laughs> the much anticipated Air Zoom Ultra SCFG is what it's called, otherwise known as a Nike Air Zoom Mercurio. Um, comes in this really cool box, I would say. I really like it. Um, I like the colors on it. Basically, these are the colors that are um, in the shoe. It's got this cool swoosh here. Um, I wanted to do a proper unboxing, but I had some other product um, with it. Therefore, I had to open up the box and, you know, um, take it out. But then you open up your box and it does say Air Zoom Ultra. This is, this is really cool to me um, that I actually have this. I'm, I'm lucky that Nike had up to a 10 and a half. Um, I don't know what the biggest size. I imagine they did kind of a full size run, um, but just send out, they just sent out um, different uh, sizes to um, different areas or different parts of the world, I guess. I would think they released them all over. Um, so you got your, your paper even says the air zoom on it. I don't know if that'll pick it up. You know, Nike does little details like that. That's that, that's the type of stuff that I like. Um, by the way, I made this shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it. This would be like my more official merch that I'll probably only, I will wear um, because I don't know. I don't think anybody's interested in buying it, but yeah, it just says ego and then dynamic if you can pick that up. Right. Just a little something that I created, I made up. Um, all right, so let's uh, get into the boot and here it is. Um, now it is made from a, a 3D printed upper. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much uh, about the boot itself because I actually just want to try it on and, and give it a proper play test. Because again, I can sit here and um, break down everything, but I think majority of the people just wanna know, is it a good boot? Does it work? How does it feel? Um, so I'll talk a little bit about it. So it has a 3D printed upper. So again, this was supposed to come out back in 2020, which means they probably have been working on it for a very long time already. Um, and what it has is a full length uh, air zoom unit in the shoe, in the, sorry, in the inside of the shoe that goes all across it. Now I, my temples that I have, I think it's a temple two, the Ronaldinho. That has a small, kind of like the SB um, shoes, has a little bit in the heel area. Again, um, I don't think that it really helps performance that much. This is supposed to help you, I guess, kind of propel you forward. But as if you wear sneakers, um, you know, really doesn't help <laughs> much, I would say. Um, speaking of sneakers, I do have the sneaker that this was basically... Um, they came out, they would have came out in the, in the same year had this one released. Um, so I have that sneaker and I'll kind of compare those and show you guys a little bit. Um, but basically, you know, you have your, I think it just says air across the swoosh, which is kind of cool. And 
you got your very, very minimal um, coloring, which I like. I really like the sole plate. I really like the way that looks. If you ask me, I like that, the color. Oh, it's like a iridescent type thing. Um, and, and of course, now it has, I guess maybe you could call it outdated technology now, but it does have the flywire cables that'll lock you in, which we've seen on previous versions of uh, Mercurials, which surprised me in, in that aspect of, um, cause I think even in 2020, I feel like they had kind of moved away from flywire. So, but maybe it was a way to keep the um, boot light and also that it just worked well with um, the material, the printed material. So um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, oh, actually I will get, I wasn't thinking about weighing them, but I forgot that's probably an important aspect as well. Um, so in, in the inside, of course, you just have your, just do it. It comes with this Nike football thing. Um, that kind of just mm, talks a little bit about it. It says, the visual aesthetic on the bottom of the shoe will wear off during play, but will not affect the performance of the product. Okay, so this will not stay like this, um, which is kind of a bummer, but also not a not a deal breaker. But I always wonder, I've never worn um, a cleat. If anybody has, if anybody's worn a boot, a shoe, a cleat, whatever you call them, um, if you've worn out the bottom, what, what color is that? I'm Obviously I have too many boots that I really don't um, wear them that much. So I would really like to know what is it? What's the color underneath? Is it just a white? Is it a black? Um, maybe have, maybe that'll be one of my goals is to wear down um, a boot so much that I will figure that out. Um, but anyways, in, in it just says, um, just do it here. Um, I wanted to try to take this out and it's kind of glued in. I, I, I wouldn't say it's a full glue, but it is kind of hard to get out. I want to get it out. Maybe I'll just post pictures of what it looks like in the inside. Um, but I can definitely, I don't think the camera picked this up, so I'll have to post pictures. Um, but you can definitely see the full length air unit that is goes all across from here all the way down. Um, again, it's supposed to give you like springy sensation to propel you forward, you know, the movement that you create. Um, but again, wearing sneakers, um, that doesn't really, there isn't technology that's gonna make me feel like I'm faster or jump higher or anything like that. Um, so let me pull out the sneakers. Now I will say this sneaker is a very comfortable sneaker and um, it, it, it's, it's really nice. The one that they used to, well, I guess is inspiration, but here it is right here. Um, it's the KD, I think the, forget now, the, the KD 12, KD 12. Um, it's got the same upper, I, this actually has fly wire, it says right here. And then uh, again, I don't think this one will come up either, but this has a much bigger um, air zoom unit that goes across here. And it is, it is a very, very comfortable shoe. Um, does it give you any type of advantage? You know, I don't think so, other than just being comfortable and allowing you to, to um, play, at, I guess, at your best. Um, so interesting that they, went, they used the basketball uh, shoe and put it towards um, a, a soccer boot. But yeah, so let's weigh it. I, I would imagine with the air um, unit that's in there, I think it's gonna probably weigh a little bit more than what like a normal material would weigh. Let me get this out real quick. So I'm sorry, I apologize for you guys not being able to see it, but you know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna lie about how much it weighs, but it doesn't feel heavier, but we'll see. So, put it down. Oh, wow. It comes in at 7.4, which is, I think, any mercurial that I've done, any of the new mercurials, it's actually lighter than that. Um, for reference, let's just, let's just do the other, other foot that has this little thing on it. Let's see if it matters. 
7.6. So yeah, roughly you're gonna get a size 10 and a half is gonna run you at 7.4 um, ounces, which is very, very light. And I would think that, you know, the construction of this would hold up. It's a little, there's a little bit of texturing on there. It's kind of rough. I don't know if that will help with ball control or anything like that, but very, very interesting shoe. My only gripe about this is if this technology works, if it, if they're going to try to um, implement this for the future, for future Mercurios, it worries me because this was not a cheap boot. It was very expensive. Um, even with my discount, it was still over $200. Um, but it was, since this is a limited boot, you know, and I wanted to get my hands on it to test it, to try it out for you guys, um, I had to pull the trigger on it. Um, but again, just like we saw the, the Flyknit SE that they released, and then eventually the 6, uh, Superfly 6 and um, 12 actually were Flyknit. So if they're going to be incorporating um, this type of um, technology into Mercurius going forward, expect to be having to pay a lot more money for the Mercurios. I, I think they could take advantage of this and um, maybe use it as, you know, you can get the air zoom unit version or you can get a regular version. I think that would be pretty cool. But again, I don't really see them going back to using um, flying it in, in boots because there aren't too many uh, Nike products right now that have fly wire, you know, they moved on from it. And so I wonder what they're gonna do. I wonder if they just said, you know what? We have these, let's get them out there. And okay, so I just remembered, there is a code on here and it, this was, this says 518.21. So that's when this one was created. They were created from May 18th, um, 2021 and November 30th, 2021. Um, so, so they, it's not like they had these laying around for very long. They just made this, this is about a year old shoe coming up on a year in, in May. Um, so I wonder what made them decide to go ahead and release it after all. Um, I've seen Nike with sneakers in the past, um, just say, you know, we're not going to release them for whatever reason. So I'm, surprised that they went ahead and decided to um, release these but hopefully guys I feel like I've been talking forever and I didn't really want to but um, hopefully I can do a play test of these and get my full honest review maybe compare it to a Mercurio um, of now and let you guys know what I really think because again I can tell I can talk about tech specs and tell you it's supposed to do this supposed to do that but does it really work uh, who knows? So we'll find out and stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, um, go ahead, subscribe or like, leave me a comment. Um, I love to hear you guys' opinions. You know, even if we don't agree, I don't care about that. I just, I like to hear what you guys think, why you guys are watching my videos. Um, and uh, I do have another channel where I talk about just everything and anything. I recently posted um, a video on the World Cup, so I'll leave a link to that in the description if you wanna head over and watch that, do me a favor. That would do me a huge favor. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.